Hey guys, Joshua with Josh and Hunter's Adventures and welcome back to another episode. Today's video, we've got another boot review for you today. We've got the Redhead Camo Rubber Boot. Um, this is the second pair that myself and Hunter have picked up and I just wanted to go over these with you just a little bit. Um, these are basically Bass Pro's version of a knockoff muck boot, basically what this is. Uh, and I went and picked these up yesterday for Hunter. Um, he, like I said, he had already had a pair of these. He just outgrown them. Uh, these are a 14. Uh, he wears a really big uh, shoe and boot, so um, went to Bass Pro and found these. These um, retail regularly for $69.99. There is a lot of times they will put these on sale and you can get them a little bit cheaper. Uh, you remember in the last boot review video that we done, we picked up these Cabela's boots. Uh, I think I got those for maybe like $60, but they're regularly $129. Uh, like I said, these are a, a knockoff muck boot, basically what they are. Uh, they're rubber right here, and then it's that, uh, I'm really not sure, almost like a neoprene type material up here. Um, just go over a couple things with you. You can see that uh, it does have a very good uh, groove sole there, so uh, we'll have good traction. And like I said, I have had this boot before, and they are good. They are waterproof. Haven't had uh, the last two pairs that myself and Hunter have had have not leaked so uh, that uh, hope hopefully this one won't either uh, one thing that it does have is you can see where they have that little kick where you can slide the boot on and off uh, easier it does have a little pull cinches right here to pull the boot on um, all in all though uh, I'm going to try to do a little maybe comparison video tomorrow in the woods with the Cabela's, I'll have those on, and then Hunter will have these on. And maybe we'll do just a little comparison video uh, on them. I will say that this is a lot lighter than the Cabela's version. Um, obviously, you can see the material is a lot different, but uh, it is lighter. Um, these are made in China, uh, just like, you know, the majority of most of these style boots. Um, it is the, the camo pattern is that Sparta True Timber, I think is what it's called or True Timber Sparta, whichever one it is. I'll give you a little close up here in a minute of the uh, tag of what the, the description says, you know, the 100% waterproof and talks about the, uh, the kick thing here to, to slide the boot on and off and the cinch. But uh, for a good, you know, inexpensive really boot, these are really good. Like I said, this is gonna be our third pair that we've had and uh, you, I don't think you can go wrong with them. You know, uh, there's a lot of other brands out there and a lot more expensive brands out there, yes. Uh, but um, Hunter doesn't get cold really easy. He's a big old boy, and uh, he doesn't like boots that really sweat him a lot because he, he doesn't get cold very easy. I can't hardly in the wintertime get him to wear a jacket in the woods. He just wants to wear like a vest and uh, a shirt. So, uh, But what we're going to do is, is tomorrow, so you guys stick with us, and make sure you subscribe, but tomorrow we're gonna to go and do a comparison video on this one and the Cabela's boot. But like I said, uh, so far uh, looking over these boots, the uh, stitching and everything, uh, uh, quality uh, looks good on this pair. Uh, the other ones, I haven't had any issues either. So what we're going to do is, like I said, tomorrow, do a little comparison video so you guys uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and have that notification bell clicked. That way you know when we put out videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Until next time, this is Josh with Josh and Hunter's Adventures. Thanks for watching.